to share with you something more detailed, okay, about uh, how to make it. So I'm going to talk about design, build, and live.
a plane on my own, my own jet plane. <laughs> Good to have or not? Yes. Is it a must have? Yes. Oh, okay, for Rose maybe. I mean, yeah. everybody is different. <laughs> Is that, but I mean, it's good to have a, a bungalow, okay? Right? Is it a must have? To some people, may not yet. They say, I just want a house. Okay, I want to get a condominium, uh, apartment first. That one is a must. Okay, like, is it a must to have Rolls Royce? Not necessarily, maybe to some people, but I must have a car. That one is a must have. So you see the difference, yeah? Okay, so set a significant goal means the goal must be significant to you, important to you. Like for example, it's life changing to you. Like some people say, I want to earn 3,000 from Shambhu business. Significant? May not be. But I want to earn 10,000 or 15,000 because you know the why, the reason behind. The 10,000 is so important because you know with the 10,000 you can do a lot of things for your family, for your loved one, which are important to you. The money is a means to an end, but the end is so important to you. So for you to, to, to be inspired or to be committed in this business itself, you must know what is the thing that you really want to get from this business. This, this thing will push you through, will pull you through actually, not push you, will push and pull you actually. Yesterday I talked about desperation and uh, aspiration, correct? Right? So goals is an aspiration. It's an aspiration, but the moment you think about it, why well, you feel so excited, something that I must do, so you keep looking forward to it, right? So it's something attracts you, pull you. But sometimes you think, what if I don't achieve that? You gotta think the reverse, you know. What if you don't achieve this goal? Would it upset you? If this goal upset, if this thing upset you, this question upset you, like if I don't achieve it, you know, I feel so sad and I'm not gonna give a, I mean, give a good life. Okay, I will have regret when I leave this world, right? So this thing will push you. So now, so this goal, it acts like a pull factor and push factor. Okay, so exercise number one, very important. This is the first, the most important thing I do in summer business. I must know what I want before I jump into this, right? So do this and ask questions like, uh, example, visualize the amount that you want to make every month. I mentioned already, okay, you, you must know. Okay, like let's say you say, I want to earn 10,000. A dollar and what are you going to do with it you must have a plan to know what, what why is this ten thousand so important how are you going to spend the ten thousand where are you going to spend it right and what sort of time how are you going to spend the time if let's say time is so important to you so you must have an idea already right why is this time so important when i really have time freedom how am i going to spend this time I, I don't think you're going to do nothing, right? There must be something important that makes you say that time is so important to you, right? Then, what kind of person you want to be? Because with that kind of income, with that kind of money, uh, time that you have, I think your lifestyle will be different. And uh, when you design a life, right, you must have yourself in that picture. Am I right? You must be inside that, that picture itself, right? So, what sort of being are you? I mean, what sort of person are you? Maybe some of you, to you, it's very important to be a leader. Right? You, you, you aspire to be someone influential, someone uh, capable, that is able to make impact in people's life, right? Then you start to imagine that, wow, one day I can give teaching, I can give sharing, I can impact people's life and so on, do major contribution and things like that. So, think in detail. The key point here is detail, specific, Right? Okay? Like questions like uh, Where do you want to stay? What sort of house do you really want? Okay? What do you really want to learn? Any is there any specific skills or hobby? When you have money and time, I always ask my friend, when you don't have to worry about money and time anymore, just imagine uh, now visualize a little bit, right? If you have every month the income that you want, without having to work hard much. I mean, maybe work a little bit casually and things like that. But money is churning in every month automatically to your account. Then you don't have to worry about money. You don't really have to work anymore. Then how are you going to spend your life? Where would you be staying? What sort of car would you be driving? Like, how do you want to travel? Huh? What? How? Where? Where? What sort of friends you want to be with? What sort of person would you be at that time? What sort of relationship you have with people? Have you ever thought of that? How many of you? Think about this frequently. 
Yes, okay, I'm happy that some of you raise your hand because it's so, 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 so important. Again, because this will be the pull, pull factor and push factor. Because no one is your boss in some whole business. Who is your own, your boss? Your own self. Right? If your upline is good enough, caring enough, the upline will school you. <laughs> if upline don't school you, one, this upline are not caring enough yet. <laughs> so you, you, you must huh, ask upline to school you. When the time you try, upline, you say upline, I give you permission to school you and kick me. If you don't feel that I'm on the right track, if you think that I'm straying away uh, from my goal. Okay? So give that permission to your upline. It will help you a lot. You can, that's why the Chinese always say, Oh, we are like parents, right? Downlines are our children. We want our downline to succeed. That's all. Therefore, we have to be a little bit strict to them sometimes. Okay? So this is one thing very important. So, ah, then decorate your life. Okay? What will really make you happy? Think about it. I mean, you must be able to visualize that one day when you don't have to worry about money and time, how happy would you be? What would, makes, what would you be doing to make you happy? I mean, when you think about that, isn't it exciting? Isn't it exciting? You know, it's so important to think about that every day, you know. I'm going to invite you to think about it every day, you know. I tell you, if you think about it every day, you feel so happy and when you do something, your results will be different because you radiate energy. Your, your energy is different. You attract the right kind of people to you. People will be impressed with you because they find that you're so different because you're so positive. Yes, because they don't know what you're thinking, but you look so happy. Actually, you're daydreaming. <laughs> but this dreaming dreaming is powerful. Okay, because you're taking action and thinking, wow, I'm so happy because I'm walking towards my dream. I'm getting closer and closer to my dream. Because I'm really on the right path. If let's say you have not seen Swampo yet, then you will worry. I want this, but I don't know how to get it, right? Now that you already seen Swampo business, you know Swampo is able to help you to achieve that. And you're already starting the journey, aren't you excited? Honestly, compared to your friends out there, many of your friends don't even know what they want, right? That's problem number one. But you are different because you know what you want. And many of your friends, they know what they want, but they don't know how to get there. And you know how to get there. So what else are you asking for? What else are you, uh, I mean, why, why should you be unhappy about? So if you are unhappy in Swampo business, something is wrong. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Doing some more business is supposed to be an easy, uh, supposed to be a happy uh, job or happy day. Okay, because ha happy activity. Because you are doing something that is able to get what you want. You are unhappy in your job because you don't see a future. But this one you see a future, why should you be unhappy? The only, the, I think the only reason that will make you unhappy is you are not doing what you're supposed to do. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that you every day feel guilty. You, I should be doing this, I should be doing this, but I'm not. I'm still at home. How? Oh, uh, I should be seeing people or no? Uh, then you should feel guilty. You forever have this struggle. Uh, then that one, you ask yourself, then, uh, how to solve this problem? Okay, I had that as well. Go back to your goal. Go back to your dream. Go back to the life that you designed. You ask yourself again, do I still want this or not? Then you ask yourself, if I still want it, then I better to do lah. Huh? To do as simple as that, if, if you find that your dream you can compromise, then, then okay, it's your choice. Then, but at least you won't feel so guilty. La. <laughs> okay, can you do that? Yeah, yeah. Can I? Yeah. Okay, uh, and because honestly, you once you get this first step done, right, your life is so exciting because you suddenly you see hope. You see hope. When you, someone has hope, the life is different. Compared to someone who don't have hope, right? when you talk to them, you know it, it sounds different. The person reacts differently and the person's character and attitude also very different. Uh, so be a hopeful person. I mean, have hope. Hmm? Okay? Now, let's, you get this done already. How to make this happen through some hope is like, okay? Uh? Are you with me? Yes. Uh, okay. First, the first, the first one to three months, okay, you learn everything. You learn everything about the business.
everything about the business and work very hard. Learn everything. The key thing is everything about the business and work. Be ready to work very hard. The first the three months, the first 90 days, be prepared to do that. Everything uh, means right from the business itself, okay, must know the OPP chart, every, sli every slide in detail, okay, business, the company background, study the company profile, the business manual, the product, okay, the skill set, the process of doing one on one, the process of doing co meeting. You, you may not master it yet, you understand? But you know the process. Like even someone said, I want to do the business. You are able to teach someone how to get started. Even though you don't, you are not very skillful yet, but you know the whole process. Like if I say, I want to conduct, uh, like your daughter said, I want to conduct home meeting. Huh? But you know, step one for home meeting is what to do first. Huh? How to talk to people, okay, how to invite people. And the whole meeting, and you must present the OPP or what's up, how many types of home meeting. I mean, you must know the process at least. Right? So learn as detailed as much as possible, learn everything you can and be prepared to work very hard. Okay? When you work very hard, your objective is you must see result, huh? Because by the end of third month, you want to see result. Okay? Huh? The end, huh? by end of third month. What you what you want is Result. Okay, let's talk about result. How many of you like result? Huh? If I say come for training, learn, 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 and then no PV now mind, no people now mind, no income now mind, happy or not? No. No, huh? Because I say work very hard, huh? So I'm going to share with you. If let's say you really work very hard, okay, you should be getting able to get 40 downlines. Huh? 40 downlines. Assuming 20, 20 of them, huh? they take two Lincoln set per month. And another 20 of them take two Jiao set. At the end of three months. Okay? Huh? I'm, I'm talking about or something realistic, something achievable. I'm not talking about something very or, or difficult to achieve, yeah? 40 people, 40 downlines within 3 months. So each month is about how many? You sponsor how many? You sponsor about 13, right? About 30, 13 of them or 15 of them, right? Each month, okay? I'm going to tell you what to do and so on. Okay, each one, and one family, okay, one downline, uh, one downline, the whole family take two Yongkian sets, okay? Which is, I think, affordable by a lot of people. Okay, or two Chiao set. The PV work out to be how much? By this day, you will have about approximately about 20,000 PV. 20640 PV. And it will give you a net income. I woke up the figure already. About sing dollar two. 893.40 cent. Okay. Is it good at the end of that month? Good or not? But you're going to work very hard. Ah. First three months, 90 days. Huh? To get these 40 people. And how? what do you have to do to get these 40 people? Okay. Do what? Ah. What do you have to do? Ah. to see about 100 to 150 people in the first three months doing not not meeting up for fun huh? doing presentation either through one on one or home meeting i invite you then to your place to do home meeting or you go to their house to do home meetings share with them basically sharing with 100 to 150 people if let's say you seriously learn, even before you graduate the three months, you know, 
But when you learn, like for example, if you are one month in the business, right? One first month, you read a lot of books, you attend a lot of meetings, you listen to a lot of recordings, which you already have all these tools ready, check with your mind, right? So you learn, 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 you, you take notes, seriously learn, you understand what seriously learn or not? Like as if you're going for exam. Mm. I mean, how many of you recall that when you go for exam, you really, wow, oh, study really hard, I think like, only for that night. <laughs> I then kind of attitude for 30 days, uh, th- for 30, th- uh, 3 months. And that kind of attitude, no. Because we, we see, after we left school, not many of us uh, learn very hard anymore. Right? <laughs> we, we, we only learn very hard during school time. Preparing for exam. So use that kind of attitude. Okay, as if you, you have to participate as if you are playing the game, you know. If you still really lay back like that, right? Honestly, I mean, you you won't feel the excitement and some more business not so exciting when you become diamond also, nothing much to share one. You must go through this phase, uh, excitement like roller coaster, very right? exciting, tiring, but you know that you're not doing it alone, you know. You are doing with your upline, you are doing sidelines of you or your, some of your downlines are together with you or working so hard together. It's, it's a very good feeling. It's not so you've got to study very hard, or take notes, or you say, okay, I'm going to beat this person, you this person's family got time, but this one, you know, quickly, quickly, enough Google. Last time, our time, no Google. So you, last time, you, you don't have internet. So, so, not even, I don't think so, 16 years ago, not a popular thing. So what we do is, I mean, well, what we did, we went to bookshop early when we want to do the business, right? We have buy those medical encyclopedia. So when someone tell me, oh, I know the person I'm going to see have diabetic quickly when look through diabetic. Study, you know. Really have to study huh, before I go and see the person. Otherwise, what to talk? <laughs> I don't know how to talk. I may not master the diabetes subject, but at least I know something about diabetic. When the person talk, I know how to answer. So this is doing homework before I go and see the prospect, you know. So to do like that, huh? Then when you are so well prepared, when you do, the results will be different. You see or not? So you could learn very hard, then learn every day, learn very hard, and getting ready to see the next person. Uh, then your result will be different. And because you are giving your 100% attention to the next prospect you are going to see. How many of you experienced that before? Like you are so well prepared, getting ready to go and talk to this friend. How many of you have, you, uh, how many of you have, have that experience before? No. Casually, casually, you talk to someone, no. But you know you're going to see someone and you're a bit nervous, okay, and you prepare yourself first. How many of you tried that before? Do you think it's good? Yes. It's all different, isn't it? Yeah. Compared to you, you're not prepared. I mean, you, you, you want to share someone to be someone, but you are not, you won't do much preparation in advance. You just bring casually, okay, la, quick chat, I bring a lot. I might say bring quick chat, bring product, bring everything. I also have. But the attitude is, Okay, la, try, I mean, like very casual. Do with intention and without intention, la, different result, trust me. It's, to me, life is all about focus energy. Focus, when you focus, when your energy is so sharp, so, so strong, so focused, one thing at a time, la, don't focus on the hundred people that you're going to see. Focus on the next person you're going to see. And give your 100% effort and attention. Be very well prepared. Huh? Ready, give 100% attention when you're with the person, ready to listen to their problem, propose whatever you think is right for the person, is good for the person. Okay, anything don't know, even politely tell the person, okay, I'm very new. I get your message, I get your problem, let me take all the detail. On the spot, this you may even call your mind. Get there and then give the answer. With this kind of approach, huh, you will grow very easily. Because people can feel the seriousness in you, or that your commitment in doing the business, your seriousness in attitude in wanting to help them to solve their problem, they will give you a chance. Acceptance level is higher. So with that kind of focus, effort, 100% attention, your results will be very, very different. And getting this result is not impossible at all. Not impossible, it's very, very possible. I dare say that. But understanding that human nature are different. I mean, our human nature are such that we cannot stay focused for a long period. Cannot, right? I mean, we are all human beings. So I may say, work very hard for the first three months. And not and every day. Just every day, focus one day, one day at a time. Or don't think, day after tomorrow, what are you going to do? No, no, no. Just think about tomorrow. What am I going to do? Who am I going to see? What am I, what am I going to do to get ready? Huh? to meet the next person in front of you. That's all. That's all. One thing at a time. One day at a, one thing at a, uh, in a day. Understand? Because 
If you've got to see so many people, how many hours do you have to work? How many hours? Okay, I won't talk about hours, uh -huh. now what I leave it to you, okay? But on average, on average, lah, you need to, you spend about, be ready to spend about 20 to 40 hours a week. A week, either you want to work five days or seven days, up to you. You divide up, or in about 20 to 40. Work up to be, sometimes if you work seven days, three hours, three hours to six hours. See, at least, if I say 100, 150, 120 people in three months, about 40 people in one month. Is it difficult or not to see one person to two person a day? If you want, do you, do you want this? <laughs> I'm not going to negotiate with you. It's you. You have to negotiate with yourself. It's your life, understand? Do you want this or not? The eat or not? The, I say, you want to make it or not? Do you want to make it? Yeah. Uh -huh. If you want that, you better find time. Like. I don't know how you're going to find time. Like what Patrick shared with you, the nurse, how she find time? You're going to find time. You're going to find solution. You're going to find ways for success. Because it's your own success. You, you say you want this. I didn't force you to take this. You see, that? you want to change your life, you want this kind of life, you better do something about it. Right? Okay, so I'm telling you that if you want this result by the third month, then you will just do this in the first three months. Okay? Okay, now three, three months after, huh? celebrate that. Huh? Three <laughs> months after you get this result, you are a wise manager, definitely with 20,000 PV, then your income will be in the range of, in the first year, in the first year, you can take this now. Okay, in the first year, you will earn about you earn about let me see. Three uh where where is my count? Okay, let's say about thirty about no twenty 20 ringgit, uh, sorry, uh, 20,000 ringgit. Eh, where did I put this figure? You earn about, in the sense, about 20. 20,000 to 40,000. 20,000 to 40,000 in the first year. Is it good? And qualify for one overseas trip. Yeah. Yes, just with this PV, you qualify. Yeah. Work out to be about 2,000 to about 3,000, 4,000, 2 to 4,000 uh, dollar per month. Good income? Good. For the first year. Okay, huh? so that is your package. Uh, the results in the first first uh, first first year. Okay, uh, no, actually sorry, sorry, I haven't come to that yet. This is the first three months of me, uh, that's right. Okay, now the next nine months. Now first three months, uh, one month got twelve one year got twelve months, isn't it? Now the next nine months, what must you do? The next nine months, if you already have this network, you have to continue the activity. But mainly is you try to identify leader and build. The first three months you don't have people with you. So you could go broad, okay? Go broad. See whether these are the people, they are all consumer, they want to be consumer, they want to be leader or what. But when you have these 30, 40 people in your network, you start to identify really, go down, you go down and deep, check your network. Together with our client, of course, check your network. Who are the people? They are potential leader. They want to do the business, they are ready to be build, they are ready to be coached to want to succeed in the business as well. So you identify and you learn how to build them. Okay, so by doing that, of course your network will start to expand. You continue to do one-on-one -on -one or not? Continue to do your activity, yeah? you continue to do one-on-one -on -one because some of the 40 people, they will drop out. Okay, they will take, 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 some they will stop. Okay, maybe 20 to 30% will drop out. Then you will still, uh, then maybe you sponsor less already. 
Okay, because your focus is more on building the field, then continue to replenish or uh, whatever drop up. Okay, so you still do one on one and home training because you will start to have a few people, a small group of people following you to want to learn from you in your training. Okay, so it's a good platform for you start to develop yourself to be a leader, preparing yourself to be move on to higher level. So you do major this two activity besides then the learning or the meeting and so on uh, okay and that time you will start to see your income uh. you will have an, in, an income of 25 yeah 25,000 to 35,000 okay plus one trick this is your first year results in the business itself okay and the uh, uh, continue and you must continue to invest time in the business continue to invest that amount of time in the business and the secret is continue to do your whole one-on-one -on -one home meeting consistently every day counts the first year very important every day count and one prospect at a time understand okay when you conduct meeting leverage people you leverage your upline as well ask your upline to help you with this to identify and build your future leaders. Okay? So we finish year one. Uh, so you qualified one trick already. Can I? Are you with me? Yes. Can I? Okay, now we move on to year two. Year two, uh, you already have this about. Just on year one, how much money you're earning? 25, 25 to 35,000. Okay, uh. year two, you move on to do, continue do, and build. Now you really build a network ready because you want to have passive income. And the activity you do is also continue to do one-on-one. -on -one. I mentioned earlier on, same, same thing, even Diamond also do the same thing, just that your priority is where you need. Okay? You continue to conduct home meetings, okay? And you, this time, if you continue to do this, two home meetings and one-on-one, -on -one, and continue to build your downline, of course you will have leader by right, you will become either a senior or special VM and your income will start to increase in the range of to 40,000 to 60,000 yearly good? you still have to spend time here or no? because right now you got people who want to Follow you already. Maybe you got five people huh, who wants to learn, or seven people who want to learn to do the business. Right? You are helping them to do one on one, two on one, home meeting, and so on. So you will still spend time here. But this time, of course, with a trip as well. With one trip, woke up to be about three thousand five to about five thousand per month. Good. Good now. Huh? Actually, not bad. Huh? Because for you, like Patrick said, for you to earn 4,000 a month, how much study you must have, how many years of study? Yeah. Yes. In order for the company to pay you this kind of money, you know. I'm talking about year two only, you know. You only put two years, at, two years effort in the business. And yet, this one starts to change already. And this time, usually, people are already full-time. When you go full-time, you got time flexibility. I'm not freedom yet because you still got to work. But you're flexible, you can control your time. Right? Okay, so year number two. Let's see, year number three. Continue. But your focus will be more on duplication. If you do the foundation right, yeah, meaning the first one year you do the right thing, going broad huh, and continue to build and so on, you will have leaders for you to build because your network is a little bit semi auto cruise already. Okay, but of course, if you don't do the job right in the first year, you need to sponsor very handful of people. Of course, you still have to keep on looking. Uh, that's why I say first year very important, especially the first three months, the first 90 days. Okay? So, third, year third, you continue to duplicate and technically speaking and realistically speaking, okay, you will become a diamond and earning an income about 100,000. 100, Two hundred and twenty thousand yearly. Two hundred thousand ringgit is about yeah, it's about hundred huh? thousand yearly. 
And of course, you got two tri trips here lah, as a diamond. Good or not? Very good or not? Uh, Rose, practical, I mean realistic or not? Right? You ask all the Myanmar people, they will tell you realistic. I think a lot of leaders have proven that. So I'm not telling a concept that is uh, no one has achieved it before. You come to Malaysia, you ask some of like Patrick mentioned about the, 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 the our diamond in uh, Malaysia, right? Here, I think there are many diamonds, they have proven this right. You know, I think I'm being quite conservative. Some of them even achieve this uh, much better result than what I've seen. Okay, the only thing is that, of course, for those who achieve be better result than what I, I'm sharing here, are people who put in more than the 20 hours to 40 hours a week. They put in more hours. So our business is such beautiful that it's scalable. It's very fair as well. The more effort you put in, the more hours you put in, okay, you will achieve result faster. It's a number game. Like Patrick mentioned about you must see 1,000 people. Okay, yeah. let's say 1,000 people, 1,001 on one. Work out to be, if you divide by three years, how many? 330, okay, around 340, okay, per, per year. One person a day, right? And uh, am I saying that? About the same thing, right? Seeing about one person a day, consistently. <laughs> Many people can see one person a day for one month or one week. <laughs> then the second week, mm. <laughs> so if you know you won't be so consistent, better see three people a day. <laughs> or some people they see five people a day, right? That's how they shorten the journey and make it, uh, so that the journey is uh, faster. So it's entirely up to individual, up to us, right? So on the third year, you start to earn this kind of income, being a diamond, you become a, here, the, you're a diamond, and you have more time flexibility. Really a lot of flexibility here. I don't want to abuse the word freedom, because you're thought freedom, don't need to do anything anymore. <laughs> so flexible, you still have to do. You still have to do, or you want to do, because you know, because the year three, your network, some of the leaders still need you, still need your assistant, right? So you still have to contribute and uh, help them, okay? And year four, uh, year four onwards, okay, uh, year four, okay, uh, not much to say, <laughs> because here is entirely up to you already. How far you want to go from here is entirely up to you, but you definitely have more time more freedom and more money. That one I can assure you. Because the foundation is strong. Because you have done the right thing for the first three years. So that's why we have been saying in the meeting, over meetings, that if you give yourself two to three years solid effort, focused effort, right? Three to five years, two to three years, or three to five years, la, your life will change. Like the fourth year is your choice already. Whether you want to take it to bigger, like, Double diamond, triple diamond, gold diamond, or just stay put, or or what? It's up to you. You see, so actually, the the key message I want to to, to convey to you all is you have to keep building, stay very focused for the first three years or four years, right? Just continue to do the activity consistently, consistently. Okay. Focus and discipline. Stay very focused and disciplined for the first three months. Because in three months, you are able to pick up a new habit. It's a habit that you got to acquire. Not many of us are able to stay consistent or able to make it because we are slack in the... Uh, because doing something is very different from what you are doing today. Right? So it's a new thing that you, you do. A new activity. Right? But for this new activity, to make it to become part of you, you got to do it consistently for a period of time on your own. So if, imagine if you really force yourself to do thing activity like this, right? Attend meeting, read books, do recording, and then share with people. Force yourself to do this kind of force, huh? because you want the eat that you mentioned. You force yourself to do something that you are very uncomfortable initially. Then this uncomfortable thing huh, will become a habit part of you. Then after three months, uh, you find that you don't talk to people, you feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> because it's already a new habit. You see, uh, it's a new habit to acquire, but this new habit is so important because it's able to help you to achieve uh, 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 your, uh, your goals within three years. 
important or not? Because it's transformation of your it's life changing. If it's not life changing, then not worth putting the effort to cultivate new habit. But three years of effort or four years of effort, you can enjoy thirty years, forty years of enjoyment. It's worth it. Like I only remember I worked very hard for the first, okay, the first uh one one year is part time. That time is struggle, I mean struggle a little bit. Then on two, year two thousand, I dis I resign. I go full time. Then I work hard. About I think solid effort about two to three years now full time now. About I think the most is three years. Then after that a bit comfortable. Especially VM, then I stay there for quite some time because comfortable lah. <laughs> Patrick got 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 good income. He's still working, so his income is good. My income is good, so I'm okay. No reason for me to move up further lah. So I enjoy my life a little bit. Struggle there and for few years, then I decided okay lah. Enough lah. Enough enjoyment lah. Go for diamond lah. Then only I decided to go for diamond. The moment I decide, okay, again, okay, focus effort. The moment I made up my mind, I said I must go for diamond. Ha, huh? that time I it was uh, February or March lah. Then when we made the decision in the trip overseas trip, right, to the seminar, we said, okay, I'm fast already. I cannot, ah, oh, cannot contain anymore. Make it enough is enough, lah, huh? Die, die, do, lah, huh? For another period, right? <laughs> I said this year I was talking, but the following month, the April or May, ah, we talking. May, ah, we decided on March. Okay, in the March I was still a special VM. Okay, and uh, okay, lah. I mean, sometimes four lines, sometimes five lines, quite okay. Then. May suddenly, ah, uh, when I made up the mind, when we made up the mind on in March itself, within two months, ah, uh, suddenly an addition, additional two lines come in. I mean, we clock in the first month. Within just two two months, it's uh, less than two months actually. So suddenly I realized, ah, uh, that this this mind power is so power. It is powerful. When you really want something, you focus, ah, uh, wow, things will happen, on you know, like magic like that, you know. You also you ask me, ah, uh, how the these people come back? I also don't know. Or well, suddenly you just show up. People want to buy, like you meet the right people who want to do the business and so on. Then it carry on. The momentum will carry you through. When you focus, right? Some or other, the momentum will come. There are a lot of things will help you out. You might not because you are, you are like, wow, you cannot stop anymore. You become unstoppable because you want it so much. Ah, huh? the force is strong. Momentum is here, so you keep meeting the right people. Then your life becomes so busy for this period of time. So the six months are non non stop, non stop. Wow, a lot of activities. Uh, I try to even work harder. I force myself to work harder because I've been quite relaxed for a few years already, ma. But somehow, rather, ma, uh, before I work very hard, ma, I don't really have a chance to meet a lot of people. But people just come in, la, I don't know how, la. <laughs> Things just happen. So six months, it just it just happened so fast. It happened. You understand what I'm saying? So for me, is you have to decide first. The, this when you make the decision, things will fall in place. Okay, so, <clears throat> then uh, be ready, focus and discipline. Okay, the first, the first uh, ninety days, then carry on, to carry through. Be very ready to sacrifice your time. Temporary, huh? temporary is only temporary. Keep telling yourself whether you because you've been working hard for so many years. Easily ten years, twenty years in working hard, employment. So might as well work for harder for another three years, right? Then thirty years employment, uh, enjoyment, and uh, let me see. Then when you achieve that, live the life lah, enjoy your life lah. When you are enjoy without feeling guilty, because suddenly initially let me tell you, I'm not bragging about this kind of lifestyle. Suddenly you find wow, life is so free ah. Uh. What to do? Ah, uh? what am I going to do? Because you're not ready to build many lines anymore. Sometimes you say, "I got so much of free time." Ah, sometimes it feels boring. <laughs> you ask those diamond, they will tell you. Okay, they they then we start to itchy lah. We start to think, "What hobby can I cultivate?" Ah, uh? actually, you don't have hobby on you know. I mean, we don't have many hobbies. Suddenly, ah, uh, when you have so much of time, ah, uh, and you don't have to work for money anymore, then you start think, "Ah, oh, what are the new things I want to learn?" Ah. Uh? Go and try this, try that lah. Waste your time away. <laughs> you got time for you to waste lah. Ah, uh, but don't feel guilty about it. Ah, uh, some the short term you will start to try this, try that. But enjoy life lah. You will start to enjoy your life. Okay, but the point is, worth it or not? Is it worth it or not? Worth it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you must, you must think. You know, you must. 
really believe this thing will happen. You could believe, believe me lah. <laughs> I won't, I won't cheat you in Batu one lah. I mean, no point for me to cheat you, correct lah. Uh, because I walk the journey, I know it's uh, workable, and many people have proven to me and proven to, to you all that it is possible. Just that you must have the wisdom to know when your life is only, I mean, you only have uh, so so many years for you to, to be productive, okay? Then might as well work on something that is worthwhile. Rather than waste your energy, waste your effort, waste your time on something that is not uh, giving you the returns that is not able to give you the rewards or the goals that you want. Now, don't waste your time away. Okay, treasure every every day that you have today. Work on something while you are still productive. If you are not productive anymore, or today you are already enjoying your life, then it's okay. Do whatever you want. But today you are really looking for something. You are still you still want to better in your life, or uh, change your life for the better. Then. Better put every effort into something that is worthwhile, giving you the return that you want. Mm. Otherwise, uh, it's a waste, it's a wasteful effort. Okay? Then, but before I end, I just want to share, oh, uh, okay, just just some philosophy stuff. Like. <laughs> okay, <coughs> the, how many of you are a fan of Jim Ron? Jim Ron? Uh -huh. How many of you have heard of his uh, philosophy about ants? And the end philosophy, you see, he, because he always, I, I love him, okay. So he, 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 he shared with us something about ends that we can learn from. There are four things that he mentioned, okay. First thing is, the first philosophy that you can learn from end, A-N-T, end, end, ah. The Malay is called semut, ah, mai, ah, end, ah. Tiny thing, tiny little creature, but I mean, there are things that we can learn. I never pay attention to that. See how wise it is. First thing, first philosophy that we can learn from Anne is Anne never quit. They never quit, right? They, they are always moving. How, how often do you see an Anne resting and not moving one? Hardly, isn't it? Ants are always moving when you notice about Now that you mentioned, maybe I realized. Okay, huh? when, when they are moving, you try to stop them, right? What would they do? Would they stop? Hardly. In just a while, and then they will find way. Uh, they will climb over, climb under, they will climb here, walk here, walk there, right? You, you experiment that by yourself later on. They never quit. They are always finding ways out of their situation, right? You try to put them, you put stop something in front of them. So learn that from them. They never quit looking for solution. So that is one thing that we can learn from them. Okay. And the second philosophy is they think winter or summer. Just imagine we have four seasons, right? During summer day, summertime, right? If you have winter, winter usually is a time for you to rest, recuperate, and so on, right? But summer is the time for you to work, okay? So for them, and summer also a time for people that enjoy life. Like many people, they have summer holiday. Huh? Like the Western country, they have summer holiday because with the sun, you want to enjoy life, right? For them, it's very different. When they are enjoying their life, they keep thinking about the winter. Meaning, what does it mean? They know winter, they are not able to find food. So they make sure, they think ahead, they plan for their future first. So before the winter comes, they start to gather a lot of food. Got to prepare for the winter, for the crisis to happen. Because like, like ourselves, we know eventually we won't be able to work. Like it or not, you're going to be dismissed. Right? You're going to be dismissed from your job. I mean, if you're an employee, up to a certain age, and you just cannot perform anymore. You, you're going to be dismissed from your company. You, you're forced to retire, lah, in other words. Right? Or even you're running your own business. Physically, you're tired, you're too old to run the business already, or, or mentally, you're so tired, I'm sick and tired of working, like, I just want to relax a little bit. But whether you have sufficient fun or not, like Patrick mentioned yesterday, sufficient fun for you to enjoy your life or not. Because after working hard for so many years, by right, we think that by, when, by the time that we are 50 and 60, we should be enjoying our life. But if you don't prepare earlier, you may not have the luxury to enjoy your life, right? You may even have to start planning for something or hope that your children can take care of you. What if they don't? So likewise, when we are productive today, we are still able to work, right? We have to start to prepare for our future. That is the reason that we are doing some work. Or even though you are able to earn income, 4,000, 5,000, no problem, or 10,000, no problem. But what if when you're, one day when you cannot work anymore? You are so tired of working already, the time. Are you prepared or not? 
do you have sufficient food to carry you through the winter or not? So even ants can think about that. What about us humans? They are powerful. Well. Okay, and <clears throat> and they think summer all winter. Just like they think winter all summer, right? Now they also think about summer all winter. What does it mean? Winter is supposed to be tough and bitter. It's cold. It's difficult time, right? So when they go through tough time, they are very positive. They keep telling themselves it won't last long. Okay. It will be, they will be out soon. They can't wait to get out. They can't wait to get out from the crisis, the difficult time, so that summer they are ready to work again. So meaning, if let's say you are stuck in whatever situation, okay, don't be despair. There are always, the time will come for you to have a better life. You got to stay positive. Like furthermore, all of you here are not supposed to be negative because you already have the foundation solution. Like last time before Sampo, you didn't see light, right? You didn't see hope. But suddenly Sampo showed up, Present you an opportunity for you to change your life. Then you should be excited, positive, that life will be better tomorrow. Right? With this, with this kind of attitude, be positive. Okay? And the, the fourth, fourth one is how much do they gather during the summer to prepare for the winter? The answer is all they possibly can. Meaning, how much can they gather, prepare themselves? Would they? Under prepare, over prepare themselves. They pre over prepare. They will do whatever all they possibly can. They will go all out, or do all the best that they can to prepare themselves for the winter to come. They won't say, that, "Oh, I can only work so much. I only want to work. I want to work. collect one spoonful of food today." They would. If they can collect one big bowl, they collect one big bowl of food. Right? They will work very hard. Okay, rather than just ah uh, stop. Okay. At the just certain fixed amounts is enough. We are not complacent in our work. Okay? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's say we can just apply this uh, into our sample in our life itself, I think our life will be different. Yeah. So now start paying attention. Oh, uh, when you see it, uh, different attitude. <laughs> so something for us to learn. Right? So, okay, I'm not going to take a lot of your time, it's already almost 4.30 but uh, there, are also, uh, there is a, also a survey done uh, as a capture in the book by the Robin Sherman some of you may help of him, another leader he's, he's also another very good book, Leaders Without Fighter here they also did a survey, they said their uh, regrets that some people when they are at their uh, death bed, right, they start to have show regrets, right that there are things that they should have done before they passed away, they leave this world, right a few things that they mentioned First one is the regret. The first regret is they need, never inspire anyone else. I mean, deep down, everybody we I, I believe that everyone we hope to be able to make a difference into someone's life, right? We want to be able to inspire someone, but some people they just don't have the courage to go and do that, uh, and they don't believe that they have they have the ability to do so. So some people they they, they it's one of their top ten regrets, okay, that they never inspire anyone in their life. So it's sad, but in Songho business, we can we, every day we inspire people, right? And another one very common is they never take risks, uh, so never dare to take do something different. Also comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone. Anything, wow, uncomfortable, don't want to do. Uh, so they regret and they miss the opportunity. Many times actually there are plenty of opportunities around, but because of the second one, we don't dare to take risks. We don't dare to do something different, so we keep keep giving it a miss. Okay lah, never mind never mind It's okay lah, it's okay, huh? So we compromise our own goals. So that you miss the opportunity, they missed it, okay? And they live, they regret of living a life society aspect of them. They think, oh yeah, you, if I do this, nah, you, how will people think of me? How will people judge me? How will people label me if I do multi-level marketing? Right? I mean, the society expect me to be like that. My parents expect me to be like that. My children expect me to be like that. My wife expect me to be like that. Huh? My neighbor expect me to be like that. So they, they live a life that society expect them to be. So they live in this framework. Huh? Or like a standard robot like that. Chop, 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 same chop on. Actually, many of us are not an identical one. You know. In many ways, are not faced. Like, huh? Our life pattern, like, the way we go through life, huh? more or less, majority of the people live the same kind of uh, life in, in, in this life okay so it's a major regret for a lot of people 
They don't tell you, but deep inside, if you ask them at the age when they are dying, they may even say things like that to you. Okay, we'll come to that stage one day. So we'll see whether we have any regrets or not. Okay? And another one is they never realize their absolute best. Meaning they have not given all out in their life yet. In life, they have never given 100% and devoted in everything, the things that they pursue. It's like they want to do something, they try, try that. They want to do this thing, they want to do, but they just test, test water, that kind of attitude, you know. Don't dare to go all out. Go 100%. They don't, just don't want to, they want to reserve, don't know what or what reserve, but they just don't have the guts to go all out. Huh? So it's a regret because they know, you know one. You know whether you have run, how you run your life. Correct? Uh, it, it's like you're running a race, you know whether you're giving 100% or not 100%. Only we ourselves, we know. Right? When we give 100%, the feeling is so good, right? Even though we lose, even in the, in the run itself, but we feel so good because we have given our best. It's like you try to do something, you give your best, right? At the end of the day, still came up, but you feel different. Compared to you, 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 another situation is you are not giving your best because of some fear of how people look at you, how you will behave, oh, funny, and you're scared of too many factors, right? Then deep inside, you, you know, you say, I shouldn't be. Huh? Yeah, you regret because you're not giving your best yet. So many people actually, uh, that. and another one, they refuse to accept leadership role. Surprisingly, it's the, one of the top 10 regrets. They are given the chance to lead. Like many times, uh, the, in their corporate meeting, in their whatever, uh, the boss will say, hey, who wants to come and volunteer this? Or who wants to shift? They, they have the urge. Many people, wow, they want to actually lead now, but scared, too scared. Am I making a fool of myself if I volunteer myself? If I do this right, if I stand up, to be different, uh, to be a, try to be a leader, will people look at me you know, like a fool or not? Uh, will I make mistake? Fear too much. So, but deep inside you, when somebody take over the role, you say, I should do that, I should have done that. I said, correct, uh, uh, I think I'm speaking for myself as well, huh? so many times. So, but it's one of the regrets that we will go through, I mean, we will have, if we are given the chance to ask this question, uh, we are being asked this question at the age, uh, at the verge of time. So, anyway, I mean, life is an experiment. Treat it like that. Life is an experiment. It's a, it's a platform for us to accumulate experience. There's no right, no wrong. Whatever you do, just tell yourself, I'm gaining new experience. So rather than all, without any new experience in your life, life will be so ex so boring. So just treat life this way, then your life will be entirely different. Uh, like, do some so do it like a, like you're participating a game. It's a game, okay? But with a deadline. You must give yourself a deadline. Right? Cannot say no deadline one. Like three years, the deadline, three years. Okay. Three years I want to finish this race. Okay, finish means I achieved what I set out to achieve, then I can start to play another game. Right? Uh, so give aside and then really all out and follow the rules of the game. Participate hundred percent. Then see your life transform three years later. Okay? So with that I end my sharing. Thank you so much for your attention and participation. Okay, I wish to see you all again. all of you. Learn a lot of things um, from the two very motivating and uh, inspiring speaker, uh, Patrick and Janice. Do you agree with me? Yes. yes. So let's uh, thank uh, Patrick and Janice again. Thank you. Okay. So um, we have to really um, go back and listen uh, what we have learned. We have to prioritize. We have to set uh, what Janice say. Have the begin with the end in mind. And uh, they have run through all the activities, what we're supposed to do, first three months, first nine months. So uh, uh, today we go back, we are also going to start setting our own target. So uh, let's all work hard together. And uh, next week, uh, same time, we will have the same session. Okay, so thank you for your participation. Thank you. <laughs>